Now let's see if we can line up a shot again. Apparently this park is quite popular with the morning runners. <laughs> I think that this is an excellent lens. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and professionally I'm a software developer, but my free time I love landscape photography and making related videos here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm out here for some early morning landscape photography. Right now it is 7.30 in the morning. The sunrise was at 6.50 this morning. Um, and so we're at 40 minutes past sunrise right now. But when I'm in the trees, you can't really tell that the sun has been up uh, particularly long at all. It's still pretty dim in here. Uh, this morning though, ironically, the reasoning for me being out so early is not so much because of the light, although the light is really nice at this time, as it is because I'm at what's a very popular park um, and I wanted to try to get here before most of the people got here so I wouldn't be in people's way so people wouldn't be in my way as I'm taking pictures and filming. Um, as you can see it's pretty fenced in here and the reason for that is because this is a state nature preserve actually uh, despite being so popular so you're not allowed to get off the trail at all and with so many people that needs to be really enforced by putting up uh, these wooden fences on either side to keep people from wandering off the trail um, and damaging the plants and all of that sort of thing. So uh, that is a little bit unfortunate for me as it means that I obviously have to stay on the trail and it's pretty hard to even be able to lean off the trail or set the tripod off of the trail or anything like that here um, because you are just so locked in as well as you have to make sure that you get your photos from over the fence or through the fence all of the time. Um, you can't, you know, work at as many different angles because you've got that fence in the way. Um, and so just for that reason, that was why I needed to make sure that I got here at a time when there weren't too many people here because if I set up a tripod, I can be blocking the entire path pretty easily. Anyway though, I'm going to go out now and try to find a good spot for some photos along this uh, water and this gorge here. So I think I want to try to get some pictures of these two bridges right here. Um, the sequence of bridges looks kind of neat. With the gorge and the water right there, I would love to get some pictures of that, but I'm having some difficulty so far with just all of the undergrowth that's here, all of the trees that are here. Um, it's hard to get a really clear view. Hopefully there'll be a nice overlook somewhere where I can get a nice shot of something. Um, but as I was walking along, I just like the way that there's the angles of these bridges across um, the path here. And so I just thought that I would try to get some shots of those. The one thing that I do think that I have to watch out for here a little bit is just that I make sure I get the whole photo sharp using tight enough of an aperture um, because there is a lot of depth to this photo. It's a very long photo. And I want all of this to look as sharp as possible. I think that's a pretty nice shot. It's always good to me um, to get something that I like early on in a photo shoot. Um, it's really encouraging when you go out for a photo shoot and right off the bat you find something that you like even if it wasn't the thing that you planned on taking photos of just find anything at all um, and get a nice shot early on because that gives you this feeling that you can get good shots and it gives you something to take home even if the rest of your photos don't work out you know if you can within the first five or ten minutes have a photo that you say okay i like that photo then if the rest of your photo shoot doesn't go well, you know that you're going home with something. Um, and so that's just a really good feeling uh, to know that I'm not gonna go home empty handed today, that I've gotten some nice uh, fun shots of these bridges here.
It's a very nice morning to be out here this morning. Um, and it's really nice to be able to see this area and explore it a little bit, not have too many people around. Um, definitely still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it as far as photography is concerned. But it's very pretty. I think I'm getting some nice video here um, and I'm enjoying myself. And so I think that's really the important thing. So I found a nice spot with an overlook here. I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to actually see this um, while I'm taking pictures, but I'm going to just take some more handheld shots here. Again, I, here I want to try to keep my shutter speed kind of fast because I like that rushing water look. Um, and so hopefully I can lower my aperture, but turn my shutter up more. So I'm going to leave the tripod sitting here um, and just try to shoot some handheld shots off of this overlook. My exposure is gonna be a little bit darker. I'm gonna I'm gonna purposely leave it a little dark because I like the way that that looks um, for this scene. The one thing I don't like about this is I've got a log across the middle of the frame, and obviously there's nothing at all <laughs> that I can do about the log that's there. Um, there's no way around that. So I'm not sure this is going to be a real winner of a composition, unfortunately, uh, but it's pretty, so I wanted to get a couple photos anyway. Well, we'll see how those turn out. You can probably tell this morning, this is a much more uh, sporadic and unplanned photo shoot. Um, sometimes I go out for photography with a real plan, a uh, particular location that I'm wanting to get to to shoot pictures. Sometimes I just go out and enjoy the morning walking around and taking pictures of whatever I see that kind of suits my fancy um, and, uh, you know, tickles my creativity. <laughs> and so, uh, that's what I'm doing this morning. It's just coming out here, enjoying the morning, wandering around a little bit and bringing the camera and uh, you guys along to just take pictures of whatever I see that I go, ooh, that looks like a cool picture. I've definitely mentioned it before um, on this channel, but to me, photography is all about having a good time, right? Um, if you're not having a good time in photography, then why are you doing it? Um, and so, you know, I, sometimes I just want to come out here and have fun and hopefully get some good photos while I'm at it and not really worry quite as much about where am I going to go and what time am I going to be there and so forth. Um, Obviously, I had to get up really early for this this morning. I uh, wasn't the, the biggest fan of that, but I got to bed really early um, and so got up really early. But you know, now that I'm out here, I'm able to just walk around and have fun and shoot pictures and not worry about um, you know, locations and timings and lighting and things. Um, and those are really fun photo shoots when you just kind of go out and wander around a little bit and don't stress about getting exactly the right thing. There's another spot that I like right here at this overlook where I kind of stopped to talk to you. Um, it looks really pretty. It's pretty dark down there and then we do have these kind of um, highlights off to the side right over here and I can actually kind of see my shadow over there a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but uh, the, the light's pretty low still. And I guess I'm just sticking with some uh, handheld shots now. <laughs> it seems to be the theme of the morning, but uh, there's not a lot of great places to sit up a tripod here, and there's not a whole lot of reason to set it up. Uh, so I don't know why I brought it along just for exercise, I guess. It's uh, building some arm strength and <laughs> carrying it around. Morning. 
and I am just tightening down the aperture again for this to make sure everything's sharp and once again it does lend itself really well to being a vertical photo which is nice it's a little bit trickier than exposure with the highlights that I showed you guys being so bright. So I'm just trying to balance uh, getting both the highlights and the shadows in. So just aiming at a exposure that seems like it gets me both. So I think this is a really nice looking photo. I'm pretty happy with that. So I think I've found another shot here that might work as well. I might try to use the tripod for this one even and uh, just blur the water a little bit because there's a little bit of a waterfall, uh, which is why I'm kind of trying to step away from it so it's not so loud and you guys can hear me. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. I wanted to give you as well just a little bit of a time check now. Um, so it is 8.05 in the morning. The sun, remember, came up at 6.50. Um, so it's now a little over an hour past the sunrise but where i'm out here in the woods and especially where i'm photographing down into this gorge um, the sun's really hitting that area much later and so it looks out here really like the sun is just rising now um, especially down into the gorge you haven't even really quite hit uh, the sunrise for down there yet so that's always kind of an odd thing that you have to worry about in landscape photography it's just kind of calculating um, or really just estimating uh, what the sunrise is going to be for the area that you're actually going to shoot. If you're going to be in trees or behind mountains or whatever, um, the sun's going to come up or go down in the evening um, at different times. Your light there is going to be shorter than it would be in other places. Um, and so you just have to make sure that you kind of make adjustments for that um, in your head a little bit or uh, give yourself extra time uh, just in case it surprises you. So here's the water that I want to get a photo of. It's pretty loud. Um, it's kind of this uh, rapid really. It's not really a waterfall. I think I called it a waterfall before. It's not really a waterfall but it's a, it's a rapid. It's just nestled right down in there. I think I'm going to maybe set up my tripod and see what it might look like if I blurred the water on this a little bit. But I'm just not exactly sure what I want to get out of this shot. Uh, gonna have to maybe mess around with it a little bit. Again, there's a bunch of kind of overhanging branches that it's hard to work with and you don't have a very big area. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just in this kind of little overlook area here um, on this boardwalk. So there's not a lot of room to work with. If the, if the sides weren't here on this, I wouldn't really be able to do anything else anyways. Because of the cliffs, obviously, I don't want to be falling off of cliffs. <laughs> that, that would be bad. Um, and so, um, you know, but it's hard to get good angles here. And so that's kind of why, too, I didn't have a particular spot this morning. Just wanted to wander around and see what I could do. Uh, hopefully I can <laughs> set you guys right there. Um, and that won't be anybody's way, I hope. Morning. Got some early morning joggers out here, I guess, so. <laughs> That's why I came out here so early. It's hard to not be in anybody's way. Gotta get it real short because I want to look through the railing over here. All right, we'll just bring this right up here. Uh, there's room for the joggers to get by, but I don't, I don't want anybody tripping. I really like this uh, tripod. What tripod is this? Uh, newer or newer? I don't know how you pronounce it, but N284 plus GO plus GO. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Uh, obviously, since I don't even know how to say their name, but this is a good tripod that was relatively inexpensive. There's lots of other ones like this, um, but something where 
you've got the arm to work with, you've got legs that expand out in different ways. Um, has really, really improved my photography a lot um, since I got it uh, probably a year ago. I don't know. So if you don't have one, get a good tripod. They're very expensive, but if you can spare the money or save up the money, uh, they are worth it, I think. Yeah. So that's about what we want. Now let's see if we can line up the shot again. Apparently this park is quite popular with the morning runners. All right, I think I've gotten that. Alrighty, well, I've now gotten, I think, several photos of this little rapid here down in the gorge that I'm pretty happy with. Um, I think at this point, I'm probably actually going to leave. It's 8.30 in the morning, um, so the light's still actually pretty good. It's not even two hours after the sunrise yet, um, but there are starting to be a bunch of people here, and I always just worry about being in people's way um, when I'm kind of on the trail like this, as well as it's just, I, I feel a little awkward <laughs> kind of sitting here talking to myself. Um, and so uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my gear and head out of here. Um, I've spent, you know, probably an hour and a half out here photographing things and gotten a lot of photos that I'm really happy with just in that little bit of time. Um, so I don't really mind <laughs> packing up and heading out at this point. I think I got several nice shots. All right, guys, well, that is all for this video, but if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more videos that I'm really excited to share with you in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.